So I'm Lani Kanakri, and I'm the chair of the Middle Eastern Arabic Sweet Sale that happens uh, every year just before Christmas, where we take orders and sell all these goodies that we make. And we are in Holy Transfiguration Church in McLean, Virginia. Right now, we're making a pistachio bird's nest. So, the, and it's made of phyllo dough. And uh, we shape it on a dowel and roll it and then shape it into a circle. And we fill it with pistachios that have mawadid, ma which is rose water. Well, we make a multitude of batlawa pastries. So we have all kinds of varieties. We have the bird's nest. We also have something called the roses, where we have <clears throat> uh, the walnuts. They're filled with walnuts, and they're sort of flipped around to make a bird's nest. And then we have uh, trays of pistachio squares, walnut squares. We make pecan rolls. We make several other things besides bitlawa. We make a matmul, uh, three kinds of matmuls, which is a butter, uh, flour butter, and nothing but pure butter do we use in here, rendered butter. Yeah, my mother-in-law would make some of these. She'd make rebe, that's one I forgot. Rebe is the total melt-in-your-mouth sugar cookie. And she would make those. I kept trying to learn how to do it, but like she had a secret recipe. And so <laughs> we probably make around 22, 23,000 pieces of sweets. Like since the 70s, we were in this little church a couple of miles away, and we had a very small carriage, a very small carriage, very small church, and they used to do it in this little small basement. So this entire freezer in the kitchen is full, and everything will begin to come out and will bake on those two days so that they're very fresh. We're going to need to pass this tradition on, and it's been going on now for 30 years, 40 years. We need to pass it on, and it's happening. A lot of young people are coming.